Introducing Dragnet, a groundbreaking television series that first aired in 1951. Created by Jack Webb, this iconic show follows the no-nonsense Sergeant Joe Friday and his partner as they tackle crime in Los Angeles. With its realistic portrayal of police work, Dragnet quickly became a favorite among viewers. But there's more to this series than just crime solving. Stay tuned because we'll uncover funny, shocking, and sad facts about the show. Have you ever been inspired by Dragnet or know any lesser known facts about it? Share your stories and anecdotes in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Keep watching for more fascinating insights into this classic series. In the early days of television, there was a show that set the standard for police dramas. It captivated audiences with its gripping stories and authentic portrayal of law enforcement. Over the years, this show underwent some changes, but it remained a favorite among viewers. Recently, I had the chance to explore its earlier episodes and was struck by their raw intensity. Despite lacking the polished look of later seasons, these early installments showcased a grittier side of police work that I found compelling. If you're a fan of crime dramas, delving into the earlier episodes is definitely worth it. And don't forget to check out the movie adaptation from the same era, which features some masterful storytelling. Back in the day, the guy who made the show had a big effect on the police in Los Angeles. They even used episodes of the show to train their officers. The police were so grateful they named a whole room after him. He also really liked this actress named Virginia Gregg and put her in lots of his shows and movies. In 2009, the post office made a stamp featuring the guy from the show as a cop. They made stamps for a bunch of old TV shows like I Love Lucy and Perry Mason. So, this show was pretty important back then. In the world of classic TV crime dramas, there's one show that stands out for its attention to detail and commitment to realism. The person behind the series had a keen eye for authenticity, ensuring that every aspect of the production, from props to dialogue, felt true to life. This dedication not only entertained audiences, but also provided insight into the inner workings of law enforcement. As a result, the show left a lasting impact on the genre, influencing many crime procedural shows that followed. It remains a beloved classic, treasured by generations of viewers for its gripping storytelling and authentic portrayal of police work. In 1968, Martin Milner joined another buddy series called Adam 12, playing Officer Peter Mulloy alongside Kent McCord as rookie cop Jim Reed. The show was produced by Jack Webb, who brought the same realistic police procedural treatment as seen in Dragnet. Milner and Webb had a history, as they had worked together before on early radio versions of Dragnet, and Milner had also appeared in several episodes of the TV series. Despite popular belief, Joe Friday never said just the facts, ma'am, in any episode. The actual phrase was all we want are the facts, ma'am. The show faced challenges during its second season due to the death of Barton Yarbrough, who played Friday's original partner, Ben Romero. This led to cast changes until Ben Alexander took over the role of Friday's new partner, Frank Smith. Set in the 1950s, the TV series was filmed at Walt Disney Studios in Burbank, Ka. Jack Webb, the mastermind behind the series, struck a deal with Disney to finance sets for their productions. In return, he got to use them for Dragnet. Jack Webb, the creator, released a book called The BADG featuring stories too gritty for TV. These tales delved into violent crimes like murder, rape, and child molestation. While the series touched on these subjects, it sanitized the details to meet TV standards. The production company owned the police cars, which were integral to the show's authenticity. Early 1950s Ford mainline sedans, resembling typical police cars of the time, were used in the first series. One survived and became a marked police vehicle in Fontana Ka, boasting a robust V8 engine and manual transmission. Later, Ford Fairlane sedans accurately portrayed detective units, though the LAPD didn't utilize them. Inspired by real-life LAPD detective Galinda's experiences, Dragnet featured cases similar to those he worked on, like the infamous Black Galia murder and the 56 serial rapist case. Galindo, one of LAPD's first Hispanic officers, was a close friend of Jack Webb, who created Dragnet. Webb, involved in investigating the Black Dahlia murder, drew inspiration from it to develop the series. Interestingly, future Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry also contributed story ideas to the show. This blend of real-life experiences and creative input helped shape the iconic series. In the world of TV and radio, there were some remarkable shows that grabbed audiences' attention. One series featured Martin Milner as Officer Peter Malloy, seen across four different shows. Another show starred Raymond Burr as LAPD Chief Thad Brown, bringing to life the real-life detective's character. 
These series were not just about solving crimes. They also focused on character development and showed how the police department operated. The actors' chemistry on screen made the shows even more enjoyable for viewers. What made these series special was how they were broadcast simultaneously on TV and radio. This allowed fans to tune in wherever they were, adding to the excitement. Looking back, these shows left a lasting impression on audiences. The stories and characters created by the actors and writers continue to be remembered and appreciated today. And so, the tales from these shows remain a part of entertainment history, showing how good storytelling and characters can captivate audiences. In nearly all episodes of this series, titles began with the big, except for two instances, the first episode of season one, The Human Bomb, and the seventh episode of season two, The Big 22 Rifle for Christmas. This rendition of the show served as inspiration for the fictional badge of honor TV series depicted in both the book and film LA Confidential. In both iterations, he served as a technical consultant and was playfully taunted by colleagues with the catchphrase, just the facts. During his tenure on the show, he allowed his co-star to inject his own humor, notably Harry Morgan in Dragnet 1967. During the early days of television, a popular series emerged alongside gangbusters on NBC. However, tragedy struck during the production of its third episode when Barton Yarborough, who portrayed Friday's initial partner, fell ill and unexpectedly passed away from a heart attack. Despite this loss, the show pressed on. As gangbusters enjoyed high ratings, NBC ultimately made the decision to cancel it and give Dragnet a weekly slot instead. To differentiate reruns from new episodes, the series was sometimes titled BADG 714 in syndication. This practice was common in the era, as seen in other shows like The Andy Griffith Show, which aired reruns under the name Andy of Maybury. Even today, some DVD packages of the series carry the title BADG 714. Inspired by Jack Webb's role in the film He Walked by Night, a radio series called Dragnet debuted in 1949, following a suggestion from LAPD officer Sergeant Marty Wynn. Jack Webb, renowned for his portrayal of Sergeant Joe Friday, was later honored with a commemorative postage stamp in 29. The series also gave rise to two hit singles in 1953, the theme music by Ray Anthony and his orchestra, and a satirical recording title St. George, and the Dragonette by comedian Stan Freeberg, Dawes Butler, and June Foray. Featuring a spectrum of orange hues worn by characters of various skin tones, the series showcased a distinctive visual style. Early on, Friday's partners underwent changes for different reasons. Barton Yarbrough's untimely death led to replacement, while Barney Phillips' lip wedding habit prompted a switch. Herbert Ellis's resemblance to Friday hastened his departure. Interestingly, Ben Alexander, initially hesitant, eventually embraced his role as Friday's permanent partner. The series found itself parodied in Mad Magazine as Dragnet. Jack Webb's character, Joe Friday, is often associated with the phrase, just the facts, ma'am, but in the 1950s series, his actual line was, all we want are the facts, ma'am. This distinction is frequently overlooked. Midway through the show's run, a theatrical spin-off was produced, marking two significant milestones in American TV history. The first instance of a TV series spawning a movie, and the first time a movie spin-off was released while the original series was still airing. Despite a dispute over an article about the show, Jack Webb showed generosity by paying for Barbara Stewart's wedding to Jack Jones after she had performed for the military in Europe. Back in the 1960s, there was a famous comedian who wanted to make fun of a popular TV show. He ran into a problem because he couldn't get permission to use the famous theme music from the show. But he decided to talk directly to the person who created the show. When he played his funny version for him, something unexpected happened the serious creator actually laughed. He thought the parody was funny and said it was okay to use the theme music. This story shows how protective creators can be of their work. Another interesting thing is an episode called The Big Little Jesus, written by someone who wasn't sure about contributing to the show at first. But they changed their mind when they were offered a chance to work on a movie based on the show. This shows how TV and movies were connected back then. Even though the creator was known for being serious, he showed a different side during a different version of the show called Dragnet 1967. This shows that he wasn't just serious all the time. He had different aspects to his personality. These stories give us a peek into what went on behind the scenes and how the show was made. Virginia Gregg was a highly skilled radio actress who appeared in many popular radio shows such as Dragnet, Nightbeat, and The Lone Ranger. She could play many different female roles, showing how talented she was. In one series, the characters used a special code, 1K80, to identify themselves on the radio. 
This code showed they were from police headquarters and were doing investigative work. This series was also the first American show to be broadcast on ITV in the UK. It started on September 23, 1955, which was only the second day ITV was on the air. Virginia Gregg's acting, the unique radio code, and the show being aired on ITV all helped make it very special in television history. In the heyday of a popular TV show, folks often rang up the LAPD, wishing to talk to Sergeant Joe Friday, a character played by Jack Webb. The cops got used to it and would chuckle, saying, sorry, Joe's not on duty today. Jack Webb, the brains behind the character, landed some good TV time for a series called Chesterfield Presents, thanks to a deal with Chesterfield Cigarettes. This deal not only brought in money, but also gave them space to deal with unexpected problems. When Barton Yarborough, an important actor in the show, died suddenly after it started, it hit hard. Everyone missed him, and his absence was felt deeply. But despite the loss, they kept going, fueled by their love for acting and the work they were doing. Even when things were tough, Webb led the team well, handling the challenges of showbiz with skill and determination. His leadership was key in keeping the show going strong. So, the story of Dragnet continued, not just as a TV show, but as proof of the hard work and creativity of those involved. It stood out for its exciting stories and memorable characters. In the early days of a popular TV show from the 1950s, something very sad happened. One of the main actors suddenly passed away during the first season. This was really tough for everyone involved, and they had to change the story and bring in a new actor to play alongside the main character. But despite this big problem, the show kept being interesting to watch. The main actor, who played a police officer, was known for being really honest and realistic in his role. He focused on solving crimes without adding unnecessary drama. What made the show even more special was that they used real police cases in the episodes. This made everything feel even more real and different from other shows at the time. Overall, even though there was a sad event early on, the show stayed strong and had a big influence on TV crime shows that came after it. It showed what police work was really like, and people liked that honesty 